After years of teaching, I've developed a simple and quick eight-step process to write a great essay. I'm not sure why more teachers don't teach a writing process this way. And honestly, if you follow this process, you'll not only write a great essay, but save yourself loads of time. I'm going to explain and actually show you what to do at each step. If I were you, I would take out your essay so you can follow along and complete your essay with me. If you want to dive deeper into any of the steps I'm going to cover, I have videos for all those different skills. So check out the video description below. Let's get started. The writing process is not linear, meaning you don't do this, then this, then that. It's more like a cycle, and as you go through the process, you're constantly revising your ideas. Go through the process at your own pace, and sometimes jump back or go ahead as needed. Step one, understanding the question. This step is usually skipped and results in a lot of poorly written essays. It should not take you long, but take the time to understand your essay topic or question. The entire goal of your essay is to answer the essay question. If you don't have an essay question, then you want to understand the prompt or topic. I need to say that again. The entire goal of your essay is to answer your essay question. So in order to answer it, you have to understand it. You want to figure out what type of essay it is, what the topic or question is asking, and to find any vague or key terms. Look at your question and find the trigger words. This will help you figure out what type of essay it is. Your essay might be a narrative, descriptive, argumentative, cause, effect, process, or compare and contrast essay. The way you know is by looking at these trigger words. I call them trigger words because when you see them, it should trigger you to know what type of essay it is. If you look at my essay question, the word impact lets me know that the essay is asking for effect. Next, I'll rewrite the question to make sure I know what the question is asking. How is pollution and traps affected animals in the ocean? My essay is asking not for the cause of it, but for the effect of the pollution. So do the same thing. Rewrite your essay question to make sure you understand it. And if you're given an essay prompt or topic, then rewrite it as well. Last, I need to define any vague or key terms. For example, what kind of pollution? What kind of trash? What kind of marine life? For this essay, I might want to focus on the effect that the trash in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch has had on the fish and coral there. Basically, you want to know what type of essay you have, what the question is asking, and define any vague or key terms. Revise your work by asking a peer or teacher to give you their thoughts on your question. Step two, research and brainstorm. In this step, you're trying to find the answer to your essay question. You want to read credible sources, basically articles, videos, websites, books that you can prove are trustworthy and true. The goal here is to gather ideas to answer your question. When you find an idea you like in a source, make sure you keep track of where you found it. Later, you'll need to cite that source to give credit to the author in your work. As I conduct my research, I'm looking for all the major effects that pollution and trash have had on marine life. As I find my effects, I'm going to write them down and also gather evidence to back up my ideas. Like I said before, the writing process is cyclical, meaning you continue to research throughout the entire process. Research isn't something you do at the beginning and just move on. To revise your work, ask your peer and teachers to verify your ideas and make sure your sources are credible. Like I said before, the goal of your essay is to answer your essay question. And the way you answer your essay question is with your thesis statement. Your thesis statement is the one sentence answer to your essay question. And so it's clear, it's like I said, one sentence, it's focused, and it's based on research. It's gonna be accurate. So I'm gonna look at my question, I'm gonna use some of the wording in my question, I'm gonna also use my research to write my thesis statement. So take a look at this thesis statement. Like I said, it's one sentence, it's clear, it's focused and it answers my essay question. That's also based on my research. The way I found you know, starvation, reduced ability to swim, and even death, I found those through my research. And you can see the first part of my thesis statement, I just kind of used the phrasing, right? Rather than say impacts, I say, you know, lead to, right? Same wording, same idea, just different wording. So your thesis statement is the one sentence answer to your essay question, clear, accurate and focused. To revise your work, ask a peer teacher to read your thesis and make sure you do the following. Step four, outline your essay. For this step, I like to organize my ideas in a tree map, which is a thinking map. And basically think of this as a very easy and simple way to organize your ideas. Um, you can grab a piece of paper and do the same thing. It can just be kind of scribbled on there. Don't worry about spelling or grammar, just get your ideas down and organize them. So I'm gonna break it down. I have kind of three main ideas in my thesis. So starvation, Reduced ability to swim is number two. I'll put a little number two there, number one. And even death is number three. So I just like to easily kind of break it down. Each one of these ideas will become a body paragraph. And really this could become one body paragraph, it could become two body paragraphs, but the idea is 
I'm starting to organize my, so this is gonna be, you know, idea number one, which is starvation. This will be idea number two, which is reduced ability to swim, and idea number three. I like to actually just write out like, you know, I would write out like starvation here. Um, I don't have a lot of space here, so, but on your paper, just write out the ideas like starvation, you know, reduce ability to swim, and even death, and those aren't gonna be things I write in my essay, just help me organize my ideas. I'll take this and turn it into a topic sentence in a second, but the whole idea here is just to start organizing your ideas in your essay, and it's a clear way to do that. Step five, write your topic sentence. Next, I'm gonna write my topic sentences. So that's the kind of one sentence, introductory sentence to my body paragraphs. It introduces the main topic for that paragraph. So for example, looking at paragraph number one, starvation. One of the impacts of trash and pollution on marine life is it leads them to starvation. So that's the main idea of that paragraph. I'm not gonna talk about how it reduces their ability to swim, how it leads to death. I'm just gonna talk about how trash and pollution can lead to starvation in marine life. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna introduce it with a topic sentence. What I like to do here is I don't have a ton of space, so I'll just kind of show you where I put it, but I'll just write like my topic sentence here. And the whole idea is I start to structure my essay. So you can see this is gonna be a one body paragraph, a second body paragraph, a third body paragraph. And so take a look at these topic sentences. They introduce the main topic and idea of that paragraph. Like my thesis, I use my question to write my topic sentence. It tells the reader the one idea of my paragraph and keeps things organized. To revise your work, ask a peer or teacher to read your topic sentences and make sure you do the following. Step six, body paragraphs. The goal in your paragraphs is to explain the main idea by using evidence to back up your ideas, give examples, ask rhetorical questions, and analyze and elaborate on the topic. I have a video on each one of those skills that goes more in depth, so check out the playlist at the end of the video. But remember, the goal of your essay is to answer your essay question, and you do that by your thesis statement. But you need to support your thesis statement, so the way you support your thesis statement is through your body paragraph. So if you explain your ideas in your body paragraph, that supports your thesis statement. And if you support your thesis statement, you would answer the essay question. So really, the way you answer the essay question is by explaining your ideas in your body of paragraphs. And so what I like to do is I'll actually just find a quote or like a lifted line, and I'm just gonna write just evidence here, right? So find a piece of evidence that proves, that shows your idea, right? So add a piece of evidence, and that's just a quote, and again, I get that through my research, I get that through, um, just kind of reading different articles and books and videos. And the idea is a quick quote that proves, that shows my topic sentence. And then what I like to do in this stage is before I even start writing is I'm just going to list out just like details, right? Like ideas, examples, rhetorical questions that elaborate on my evidence. I'm not going to write full sentences here. But the idea is just to quickly brainstorm. I'm just going to take my ideas in my brain and throw them down on my outline. So again, I'm just like writing down examples, I'm writing down rhetorical questions, I'm writing down elaborations, I'm explaining things. But the idea is to explain how my evidence proves my topic sentence. And if you do that, then you prove your thesis. And if you prove your thesis, you answer your essay question. But next what you wanna do is open up a Google Doc and write out your body paragraphs. Start with your topic sentence, back it up with evidence, and then explain your ideas. Take your bullet points and elaborate on those. Make those into complete sentences. Make sure not just to tell the reader your ideas, but show them with examples. End each paragraph with a concluding sentence that wraps your ideas up nicely and transitions to the next paragraph. This outline here should make writing your body paragraphs very simple and easy. To revise your work, ask a peer teacher to read your body paragraphs and answer these questions. Step seven, write your introduction and conclusion. The biggest mistake I see students make is they start writing their essay by focusing on their introduction. Even though it's the first paragraph in your essay, it does not mean you have to write it first. Write your introduction and conclusion at the same time so they're connected. Here is the basic structure. Start off your introduction with a hook. This could be a quote, fact, story, metaphor, or polarizing statement that grabs a reader's attention. Make sure to connect it to your topic. Next, explain the background information. This is a basic information your reader needs to know before they read your essay. Define any key words or explain any concepts your reader needs to know to understand your essay. Next, you can tell the reader your essay question and the last sentence of your introduction is your thesis. Let me say that again because it's so important. The last sentence of your introduction is your thesis statement. Your conclusion is your introduction 
flipped upside down. Start it off by restating your thesis. Keep the same idea, but write it in a fresh way. Next is your summation. It's basically the summary of your essay. Tell the reader the main ideas of your essay. What are the key ideas you want your reader to remember? Last is your mic drop. Whatever you did for your hook, connect it back to your mic drop. For example, if you use the quote in your hook, then reference back to the quote in your mic drop. If you told a story, then wrap it up in your mic drop. The main idea of your mic drop is connect it back to the beginning of your essay and give the reader a chance to reflect on what they learned and how they can apply it to their life. To revise your work, have your peers or teachers read your introduction and conclusion and answer these questions. Step eight, revise, edit, and format your essay. Last, you wanna revise your essay as a whole and then edit your spelling, grammar, and punctuation. Here is a common mistake I see. Let me give you this example. If I were to ask you what the biggest issue with this sentence is, what would you say? I imagine most of you would point out the misspelled words, the poor capitalization, or the missing period. But those aren't the biggest issue. The biggest issue is that this sentence does not answer the question. The answer is just flat out wrong. If I was to take the time to edit the spelling and grammar on this sentence, I'd be wasting my time. It doesn't matter if the words are misspelled, if the answer is just wrong. So when you revise and edit your work, revise your ideas first, and then edit your spelling and grammar. Focus on revising your ideas. Make sure they're answering the essay question. Revise your organization and make sure your essay is structured properly. Revise your word choice and sentence fluency to make sure your sentences flow well together and build off each other. Once you've done all that, then edit your spelling and grammar. Lastly, you wanna format your essay. You're most likely using either MLA or APA format. So take a look at this slide here to format your essay. So that's the entire process from start to finish. If you wanna learn more, check out this playlist or this video. Smash like button, hit subscribe, adios.